Hey guys, Captain Matt here. I'm going to talk about a uh, little landscape lighting design just to kind of share with you some things. I know it can be hard, uh, the design aspect. And we're on this uh, pool cabana pavilion. And, you know, when I see this, I, I get really excited because I know right away I mean, to get this level 11 full all in beautiful portrait right for just this little thing. You know, I'm probably talking 45 to 60 lights, right? To do it right, to do it badass that 100 percent everyone's gonna love but i also have to be realistic right and that's one thing one of my mentors taught me is you know you can do a full potential but let them let them start somewhere they don't always have to be at full potential so you know something like this i'm just gonna use i guess i use red right so like i look at something like this and obviously you have this big entryway right here right big entryway it's gonna be a focal point um but what you want to do is I want to add depth, right? I want to go back. I want to go back. So you look at the yard looks even bigger and, um, but also you want to highlight the beauty of it. So like, you know, the hard part for me can be to try to scale it back. So what I like to do is just kind of design it right to begin with. Right. We're going to need, uh, you know, you're going to do a path like here, path here, probably in a badass urn, let it go down. Um, and then I'm going to want to hit up, I'm going to want to hit up these trees and stuff. I'm gonna have, these are gonna have to be cut back, but have them come up here. And then that's gonna actually spill over onto it there, right? Um, and I'm not gonna do anything up on the, uh, what is it, crow's foot, uh, cause I'm gonna, I, I'd rather come in here and come and put in a light here on every pillar. So it would take, it would take 16, right? Boom, boom, boom. In between the, these, I don't know what they're called, joists? I don't know, doesn't matter. Uh, and I would, I'd shine a light up, just right up like that, right up like that. Uh, so I'll probably, you know, pitch every other as, as like a phase one, but to let them know that, um, you know, doing every one would definitely be the best option and that it, that would look most badass. And then uh, you can see here, we also have an uh, awesome fire pay, place. So I'd probably do, I'd either do one or two things here. I'd either do, I'd core drill into, right into here, move these owls and let that shine up here, my beautiful arrows. And then this right here is a TV stand, so I can't really do any, any down lights like I would like right here if this wasn't. I have a down light on both sides here, but that's not an option with a TV there. So I'd probably do a second core drill here and here, and then just come up, come up. And then again, all this greenery here is gonna be uplit, it's gonna, spilling, it's gonna be spilling over. And then also here, I always like to, so they have a grill, right? There's a grill right here. And then they have food prep area all around that. Well, this is a gorgeous little area, but at nighttime, you're not gonna be able to see your meat when you're trying to cook it or trying to prep it. So we'll come in up here, way up here on the on the roof, right? And we'll be having down lights, down lights, you know, probably, probably four. So one to hit here, one to hit here, here, and here, and then when this wire comes down, either either right here I'd put a light switch, or I'd you know depending on where they want it, maybe even over here. But I would have these four lights hooked up to this light switch so that they can turn it on when they're cooking, but also have it off when they're just sitting around the fire where they don't need the extra light hitting on those spots. Uh, same thing with you know if they're I might do some more up in here, and then if they're having a big get together, you know, picture a big poker table here or something like that. And these can come down, have, you know, quite a few of them make it bright so everyone can see their cards and everything. And then also have that, you know, probably coming down in here to a light switch. Um, whoa. Well, I'm not going to back out of all that. Let me just see what else they have here. And then, oh, there's just another, I mean, look how nice that fire pit is. So, again, some core drilling in the bottom and the, the other ledge there. And then just look how beautiful this is. So, this is what I'm saying is I'd come in. Hopefully this makes sense. I'd have a light like right in here, right? And it would be shining up here. This would help the volume of the space. And again, I would go with every other as one option, even though I want to do every single one, right? And this, and on both sides. So it'll be coming this way, whoops, this way, this way. And what happens is then, and this, this crow's foot right here, right? All these, there's three of them. They become more silhouetted and, so that they're dark, but they actually stand out because they're dark, right? Because sometimes it's about what you don't like um, just as much as what you do like. So anyways, um, 
as you can see, if I, if I did this all in, right, we're talking about 16 lights up here in the rafters, you know, 10 to 15 around the greenery. You got a couple path lights right here, maybe a couple more down there. That, you know, right there is, that's like 40 up there, 40, you know. So you got 50 lights right off the rip. So if I deliver this as a 50 light project, it might not go through right away. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna propose it, hey, this is a get started one, and it's, I'm gonna phase it out into three or four phases. So they can get started for like four or 5,000, and then if they really want it to be like the most badass pool cabana pavilion um, in the area, then they can do all the other phases. Anyway, just kind of wanted to, you know, show you guys kind of how I do it, how I start, and then also just remind everybody what I learned that just because it's a gorgeous portrait, what you're designing, uh, make sure you have phases that will all look good in and of themselves, even if they can't do the full portrait to begin with. Uh, give them the option to at least get started. Anyways, that's it. It's Captain Matt of Barefoot Lighting. I'll talk to you guys later.